According to a 2019 Auditor General's report, the Ghana Grid Company Limited, Gridco, is being owed a total debt of 230 million Ghana cities. The Electricity Company of Ghana, ECG, owes Gridco over 1 million cities, while the Northern Electricity Distribution Company, Nedco's debt, stood at 63 million Ghana cities. The WIPA Authority owes over 4 million cities, and other debtors include the Volta Aluminium Company Limited, which owes over 15 million cities. It will be recalled that in 2019, staff of Gridco embarked on a demonstration to demand over 250 million Ghana city debts owed it. At a media engagement today, the Chief Executive Officer of Gridco, Ebenezer Kofi Esienye, lamented that these huge debts still remain unpaid, and this is hampering the company's operations. The debt impact on our operations, um, I wouldn't want to deceive anybody. It is an issue. That is the reason why government makes a conscious effort to find some resources for us to do the investment that we require. It all with the understanding that, hey, this legacy debt may have to be addressed in a strategic way over time. We have bulk of compensation that we need to pay for people that has given us their land for us to use. Then also, if I had the resources, I would have bulldozed all my lines. Clearly, when you do that, it gives you like two or three years. Much of disturbances that we have is because there is some tree under the line, you've loaded a little to the line, the line has come down a little more. It is not touching the ground. And normally it doesn't touch the object. It is the distance as you cruise it up. Then the fire that is silently working on it will find a path to the ground. If I had all the resources, but we are managing it. You know, we are managing within the, the limited resources that we have. The Gridco boss also explained how the operations of illegal miners is negatively impacting their operations. Galam say, I don't know whether the gold has started to normally uh, form around the base of our towers. It's becoming a problem for us where Galam says consciously dig under our lines. There are challenges where we needed to go and relocate the tower at an additional cost. The one that is there was working so well, but you can see that the line guys who come and tell us that the oh, uh, tower is collapsing because, you know, or some of the steel members have been removed by the galamsiers. Because I understand they use it to do whatever in their tunnels. Uh, I've never been to any of the tunnels, so I don't know how they do it, but that's what I understand. These are things that we need to let our brothers and sisters appreciate that this infrastructure are there for our collective good and we need to protect them. Occasionally, as a, a power system, we normally have some challenges. Normally, when you, you see the lines, you don't see the fire on them, but they are extremely dangerous.